porn and usage of porn and you know masturbating to porn can destroy you and here are the top three reasons why that could happen and what ways you can prevent it and still till the end because the last reason it's pretty bad now first of all we're gonna be talking about our mental health and our mental health is you know it gets pretty to a bad point when you use so much of you know when you're masturbating let's say just once a day you know you watch this and that video and then you masturbate to it you get what is it let's say a couple of minutes of satisfaction and then after it you feel like shit i know that feeling i've been on the long road of you know watching it and i'm not watching it but you know you just feel the regret even while you're doing it some of you still but you feel like you need it you know some people use it to go to sleep you know, some people just want it for the satisfaction. Some people feel something, you know, like a win that they have just won, but they have just destroyed their whole testosterone level by just doing that. You know, it's pretty too crazy to think about it, how bad it can be for you. Now, the mental health, right? You're going to be so addicted to it. That's what it happens to most people. Like, you just need it. You're craving it all day, and you're just waiting for that one moment. And the problem is when it gets in the way of, you know, objects, or, like, when it gets in the way of, um, let's say, activities, you know, or, you know, you don't want to go to the gym because you're jerking off. Like, why? That's it? Like, it's not good. And when you're like searching for that specific video, ooh, I like this one, you know, I want to jerk off to this. Like, no. Don't you get it? You've been used, you know, you're a consumer and it devalues you because it just, why would you watch that and you don't gain anything from it, right? Maybe satisfaction, a couple of minutes and that, and that's all. But in the long run, you'll feel like shit for an hour. Even the next day, you'll be like, why Why did I do that? I don't know. You know. Second of all, the second reason is relationship-wise. You know, it's, it's going to go to a point where you're just not going to want to um, have a romantic or like a sexual relationship with your partner. You know, and when it comes to that point where you're like, you're not sexually attracted to your partner like that's just not good you know like imagine you know a lot of things right let's say you're with your partner and you see them and you're like don't want to have anything with them like imagine that like you have to watch and do so much of this crap you know, that people like to feel like that objectifying women, you know, when you see a woman, a woman walking down or you're in the gym or, you know, let's say you're walking or like going to the, to the job, let's say you're going to a job and um, six, seven in the morning and you see a beautiful woman and you're like, ooh, you know, she has a night butt, but you're not like, you know, I want to be with her. I want to, you know, kind of explore what she has to offer and, like, experience that love with her, you know? And you just look at the butt. Like, what's the point, you know? You're objectifying women. Like, I mean, it's different when people or, like, women, you know, objectify or put them, put themselves in a situation where they're objectified. It's different. But when you're watching every girl and just think of her, you know, um, body and stuff, like, just, that's just crazy. And the big problem is because in relationship, you know, it, it is a big problem because the statistics show that, you know, some men, there's a, quite a big proportion of men just cannot get it hard while they're in bed with their partner. 
And why is it? Because they watch porn. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Just don't watch it. Don't masturbate to it. You know, it's 10 minutes, let's say, it takes. Let's say. I don't know how much it takes. Poo poo. But, like, it gets to the point where you just, like, you know, there's so many bad things and. I don't know why people even still do it because it is such a bad thing. But they got self gratification, you know. They're like, ooh, you know, they just want to be inside and then they're like introvert, you know, and they're, they're on their phone and then people start doing it once a day, twice, three, four, five. It goes up to 10. People are monsters in this kind of way. But yeah, the last point I wanted to make is erectile dysfunction. So, erectile dysfunction is when you literally, how could I say this, is you cannot get your um, sexual organ hard, right? So, as I've been saying before, you're in bed with a girl, like 10 out of 10, let's say. She's a 10 out of 10. You got her in a club. You can't get it hard. And then it's like, you're, you know, depressed, this and that. Like, I couldn't get it hard. And then you think to yourself, why did that happen? Why do you think? Because you watch those videos online. That's why it is. I had the urge. Like, I was like, I wanted to do this. But now I found peace in not doing it because I know I'm doing a good thing. It's hard, but let me show you a way. This is going to be a bonus topic. Let me show you a way to get out of it. So first of all, try to cut out all the porn. So it's either cut out all the porn or try to do it less. It's either way you want to take it because you go take it as Let's say from now on, you try to not do it for as long as you can. Maybe you last a week. Let's say you last a week of not doing it. You know you can last a week now. And now you do it. You're doing it only once a week. Maybe it's only three days. You're doing it every three days. And then you just try to improve on that. Not doing it every such days, you know. And don't try to break. Maybe you'll break it. But then... Extend the next time by one day each time you break it, you know Maybe you only lasted um, Two days without doing it. Most of you last three days, right? The next time After that you're gonna need to last four days without doing it It's simple You know Just overload It just Let's say it's the way when you go to the gym Right most of you would go to the gym, you know Progressive overload you have heard that term, you know, let's say you have four sets each set You're gonna go up by a specific amount of um, You know like kilograms, so let's say you're doing a, um, What could we do? Curls just normal twist curls. I don't know whatever picture it dumbbells, right and each time each 10 reps or 12 reps whatever one set you up by one kilogram let's say you do that so first of all you start with a seven kilogram the next set you do eight then nine and then ten but you get stronger to time so then maybe in a month you're at like seven you went from seven to eight or nine kilograms and now you're doing nine ten eleven twelve it's the same with this you just up the days it's like kilograms you know on the curl and then you're trying to go for the new goal of climbing up that mountain to not doing it anymore. Or in the gym, you know, you're trying to get more muscle mass or that. That is the mountain you want to climb or you want to get a new PR on the bench, you know, stuff like that. Like, because it will motivate you to do it, to not do it. You need to have certain kind of like certain kind of kind of mindset you know like 
you need to get the mind strong and then get the work in, you know, because if you have a strong, strong mind, you can do anything you want in life. You know, self-motivating, self-improving, that, that kind of stuff. You know, if you self-motivate yourself, don't use music, just your mind, you know, that is a great thing you can do because let's say, you know, I work out and I have my normal workout plus I do um, abs, right? And abs and it's the last thing, you know, it's like three, um, three sets of um, um, like some, so it's like, let's say it's reverse crunches, you know, just sit ups, like those kind of things, you know, planks and I always have the problem with the last plank because the la the plank you know i do let's say a minute a minute and a, one minute and 30 and i always feel like the last one for so for, for some reason it's easier than the second one because i motivate myself enough to not feel the pain you know when you're on the second set of the third you're like oh i have one more set to do but when you have the last plank you know you're like I'm so close. Just this last thing. And that's the same with, you know, porn. It's this one last thing. Just, you know, you either stop watching or you just don't do it for, for a certain amount of time. And then when you get to a certain amount of time that it's harder to, you know, um, not do it, try to cut out the porn if you haven't. And try to use your imagination, you know. It'll be hard, but you'll get it. And then you'll climb, you'll be climbing this mountain of no fap, right? That's what we call it. You'll still maybe do it once a month, right? Like it's acceptable. But your testosterone levels will rise with no fap. That's the best thing. You'll get your morning wood back. Most of you don't even get it. There's so many benefits, it's testosterone, more muscle mass, you know, you, you'll be in a better, much better mood, like mentally, um, you want, you'll want a relationship, like a sexual one with your partner, like it's totally different, right? And sometimes you need a partner to show you what you're missing out or what are you doing wrong in your life? That's why I have one. But yeah. I think that there's a big difference between men and women, right? Because women will be harsh on you. They will say what they don't like about you. And that's good. Because it shows you. And that's how you improve. That's why you sometimes just need a partner. I'm, I may have went off topic a little bit, but it's good. You know, a little bit of storytelling in this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, of course. Smash the like button down below. But I would rather see a comment on what you think about no fap or porn addicted, you know, addictions about porn. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below. And I hope to see you in the Discord server. We've been improving. And if anybody here is interested in just talking or is needing help motivating themselves or anything, Go down below to the description and maybe join it. And I uh, hope for all of you who have the best 2023 since there is just a certain amount of time that you have this year. And do the best of yourself and have a blessed week. See you in the next video. Peace.